By faith, Moses, when he was come to years. Now, when Moses, when it said when he come to years, meaning when the Most High under, opened up his understanding for him to remember who he really is. That's the same thing that's going on now. Moses had wealth. Listen here now, you NBA fellas, NFL, you entertainers. Moses had come into the money of Egypt. He had wealth. Scripture said that he was learned in all the, way the wisdom of Egypt. Mm -hmm. He was in the high society. He was, the, he was of the aristocracy of Egypt. Go ahead. Refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Hold it. He refused now. Don't call me the son of Pharaoh's daughter no more. Mm -hmm. I'm not that no more. You see him stripping off the culture of Egypt. When you get your awakening, you got to begin to take off Egypt. You got to begin to take off Great Babylon. Just begin to strip it off. Take off the garments of Babylon and put on the garment of Christ. That's, right. That's what you got to do. Amen. Go ahead, son. 25. Mm -hmm. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God. Notice what he said. The scripture said he did. He made a choice. Just like all of us. Everybody coming down is all coming down to a choice. Mm -hmm. See, that's what he said. Choose you this day. That's, right. that's what Joshua said. Whom you going to serve? That's right. I want you to understand this. If you're making the choice to serve Yahuwah, huh, the Most High Yah, if that is your choice to serve him, it's going to cost you something. Mm -hmm. Huh? It will cost you something. All the athletes, if you make the choice to serve him, it's going to cost you something. Moses made a choice. What did he say do? Choosing rather what? Choosing, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God. And that's what people don't want. Mm. Kyrie, my brother, if they come and take all your money, you stand with the people of Yah. Mm. Because what they take and going right back into our hands when they come anyway. Mm. High glory to his name. All of it. I mean all of it. I understand. Fear rise up in you because you fear losing your car, your nice house, and your little prestige, and all of that stuff that don't mean much or nothing anyway. Because the truth of the matter is, he says, he says, set your affections on things that come from where? From above. Above. In this awakening, you have to begin to learn. To set your affections on things that come from above. Go ahead, brother. Verse 26. Uh-huh. Esteeming the reproach of Messiah greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. You see? What did he do? Esteeming the reproach of Messiah uh -huh. greater riches than the treasures in, in Egypt. He thought that, he listen, he thought that the rebuke of Christ, mm -hmm. the rebuke of the Most High was greater than the money and the riches that he would receive in Egypt. He found that to be greater. In other words, I got to stay on the Lord's side. Mm -hmm. I got to get on the side of the most high. I got to stay there and don't move. Mm -hmm. You see, I know, I, know, I know it can be hard losing everything that you got. I've been there and done that. Mm -hmm. Losing everything. Huh? Went up a little bit. Now, nowhere near the amount of money these men make, but I went up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Huh? And lost everything in preparation for this ministry of reconciliation. Wonderful. Amen. It's going to cost you something. Amen. I want you to know what it gives you is better than gold. Mm -hmm. It is better than gold. Peter the apostle said, uh, we are forsaking all Yahushua to do what? To follow you. What did Yahushua reply? He said, no man, no man, mm -hmm. no man have forsaken houses and land and money and, pe and people and, and forsaken all of that and have not already in this life receive more mm -hmm. huh and then even more in the next life that's why you can take Peter and sit him there I say sit him uh, in the street on a couch and somebody just walk past and brush up against not him but just his shadow and get healed and all the doctors in the world sitting in some classroom somewhere studying late night Mm -hmm. Falling asleep and taking some no dose to stay up, studying night in and night out and day in and day out how to heal, what to do with the physical body. But the most I say, listen, what I give you, huh, is worth more than that. Mm -hmm. It's worth more than that. Why? Because the power comes from above. 
I know that these people think they got all the power, but they really don't. The scripture says that power belongeth to Yahuwah. Yeah. Power now. Yeah. Power to open up the blind eye. He said he said it in his word. He said, the works that I do, you shall do greater. Greater works. Greater works. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Shall you do Hallelujah. See our mind is not on the right now But rather on what is to come mm -hmm. And what is to come The most I say you're going to inherit the whole world The earth and everybody in it But I don't I, But see I, I understand The men their eyes are blind And there are major scales upon the eyes But when that awakening happens All you got to do is shout hallelujah Because why it might, why it might seem like You're on the way down The true reality is you're actually on the way up Read it out, son. Verse 26. Come on, 26. Esteeming the reproach of Messiah greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. Uh-huh. For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Yes, he had respect. That's what we need now. Huh? That's why he said, forgetting those things that are behind you, but press forward for the prize. The prize. Huh? For the mark of the high calling. There's a reward. In the end, he said, he, he said it. He said, listen, behold, I come quickly mm -hmm. and my reward is with me. Yes, he didn't say award because men love to receive award. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, amen. You know, you get a little certificate with your name more than it said you did a great job. In the, <laughs> nah, no, the most high, when he comes, he's not coming with an award. That's he's coming with a reward. Beautiful. See, I don't care how many trophies you don't got. You was first team, uh, first team NBA, uh, how many championships you won. And, you know, you got all your little awards and all that. Uh -uh, that means nothing, nothing to compare to the reward what the Most High going to give to those that stay with him and follow him and endure to the end so that we can truly be saved. In the book of Revelations 11, chapter 18. What did it say there? And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, mm -hmm. in the time of the dead, that they should be judged. Yes. And that thou should give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to oh, the saints. He going to give reward to who? To the prophets. And to, to the, the prophets and to what else? And to the saints. And to, the, and to Israel. And to them that fear thy name. And to them that fear whose name? Thy name. Whose name? Thy name. See? That's See? Don't angry. fear these men's name. I know they got a little power on the earth. Don't fear these men's name. Amen. Huh? Fear their name. You better, Yahushua said, you better fear him that not only had the power to kill the body, but also to destroy the soul in hell. That's when we got to fear now, brothers and sisters. 